Jessica Fisher, the Furry Family Coach. Uh, so in this video, let's see, I have been talking to so many people lately, so many people in um, our Facebook group are asking me about how to get their dog to stop pulling on the leash. So I most recently have been talking to a gentleman who has been working with his wife's um, ESA, which is an emotional support animal. They're working on getting her canine good citizen, but they need to get her to stop pulling on the leash. So I gave them some pointers, and because so many people have been asking me specifically about pulling on the leash, and I feel like this is something that from the very beginning, everyone has been asking me, no matter what other issues they may have going on with their dogs, this pulling on the leash always seems to be a part of it. So uh, before I forget, before I get into um, the solution and telling you guys exactly what we need to do to get your dog to stop playing on the leash, uh, go ahead, grab a copy of my book, Seven Miracle Steps to Get Your Dog to Obey Commands Even If They Failed Before. Now, what I want to tell you is that walking on a leash is not something that is like inherently understood by dogs. This is something that we have kind of pushed on to dogs. It's not something that they do naturally. So it is something that they have to learn, meaning we have to teach. Getting your copy of the seven miracle steps is going to help you tremendously in this regard. No matter what level you are, this is going to help you. It's gonna help you understand your dog and help you um, make sure your dog is understanding you better, which really is gonna be like the foundation to all of our training, including pulling on the leash. So grab your copy, Seven Miracle Steps. You can get it right here. I put a link in the description, bit.ly slash canine secrets. Go ahead, click the link in the description, grab yourself a copy. You won't regret it. So much wonderful information, no matter what level you're at. So let's get back to your dog pulling on the leash. So let me just put my book down there. I may need to grab it again later, but anyway. Um, so uh, this is a live video, so you're seeing all the nitty gritty of me dropping my book and everything. Um, okay, so I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna pretend. Like we're, I'm out walking, I'm walking my dog, and all of a sudden they're like yanking and pulling on me, right? They're yanking and pulling on the leash. And depending on how big your dog is, depending on how strong your dog is, you may just be like, like this, you may be like this, right? So your dog may be like really, really yanking you. That's not what we want. We want our dog to walk calmly and nicely by our side. But again, this isn't something that your dog inherently knows how to do. So we need to help teach them. So what are we gonna do? We're going to do a few things. Um, number one, when you're out walking your dog and your dog is yanking and pulling on you, first thing you're gonna do is stop. Hold onto the leash and, and stop, plant your feet which is gonna make your dog stop. Turn around and see what the heck is going on, right? Then you're going to add, turn into another direction and start walking. Your dog is going to start walking in that direction with you. Now, you, know, you have a bunch of different ways you could turn. You could make a slight turn. You can make a really drastic, you know, 180 degree turn, go completely the other way. Don't go into oncoming traffic or anything like that. We wanna be safe, but choose a direction that you can turn um, that is going to take your dog away from whatever they're pulling towards. Because we want what we want to teach our dog is that pulling to get towards something is not going to get them what they want. So we're going to turn around, we're going to go in the other direction. And every single time your dog starts pulling on that lead, starts pulling you to get to what they want to get to, we're going to stop, we're going to turn in another direction, and we're going to keep walking. Because your dog is now learning that they are not getting what they want by pulling towards it. Pulling you towards something does not get them what they want. In fact, it gets in the exact opposite and we're going in a totally different direction. So that's one step. The other thing we wanna do is inside of our home, we wanna practice with our dog walking very closely by our side. So we're gonna take little training treats. And remember, anytime you're using training treats, you wanna deduct those calories that you have given your dog from 
their daily meal or their daily meals, depending on how many times you feed them. It's very important, so I always wanna mention that because we don't want to overfeed our dog and we don't wanna use training as an excuse to overfeed our dog. So make sure you're deducting those calories. Um, let's see. Hi, Bonnie, thank you so much for being here and watching. You guys, post in the comments. I was actually gonna save this for a little bit later. Post in the comments. Um, if you're here watching live, if you're watching later on, I see we have a few people watching live. Thank you so much for being here. Um, so in addition to what we're doing outside on walks, when they're pulling and dragging you in one direction, stop, turn in another direction. Now inside of our home, we wanna start practicing getting them to walk directly by our side. And the way we do that <clears throat> is by taking some little training treats. And I really need a glass of water, so my voice is starting to scratch. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> taking some little training treats and just practicing with little training treats right by our side. You take them right by your side and just take teeny tiny little baby steps and get your dog to be paying attention to you and that training treat and taking tiny little baby steps by our side. And we're gonna keep practicing this over and over and over again, just maybe five to 10 minutes per day or um, five to 10 minutes at a time, but maybe two or three times a day, depending on how much time you have to put into this. We're gonna start training our dog that if they stay directly by our side and they're looking up at us, because that's what we want them to do. We want to be checking in. We want your dog to check in with you every step you take. We don't want our dog to be making the decisions on a walk, right? Because that's what leads to them pulling. And that's what leads to them dragging you in different directions. And we don't wanna get in that predicament. We don't want that to happen. So we want our dog checking in with us with every step they take and with every step we take. So we're gonna start training them to stay directly by our side. So we're gonna take a little training treat in our hand and we want their head looking up at us. Take a tiny little baby step and reward it when they stay right next to you. Reward it and just keep doing that. Just a few minutes a day is really all you need to do. Once they get really good at that inside of the house, we're going to add their harness and their leash. Take their harness, put it, put it on them, take their leash, put it on them, but we're gonna stay in the house and we're gonna keep them right directly by our side. So we're adding that one distraction. What normally happens when you give your dog, uh, when you put your harness on your dog and you get your leash out, they start going crazy, we're going for a walk, right? So that's a distraction we're adding in. We want them to know that not just inside the house, but also with that harness and leash on. So we're gonna practice keeping them right by our side inside the house with the harness and the leash. Once they get really good at that, then we're gonna take them outside, maybe to the backyard and we're gonna practice it again. And then we can go outside on an actual walk and start practicing with the training treats, keeping them right by our side. Your dog is going to be calmly walking by your side in no time. Give it a try, let me know how it goes. Go ahead and post again in the comments. Let me know if you like this video. Let me know if you've got anything out of this video. Post it down below in the comments, even if you're watching a recording and you're not watching this live, which guys, thank you so much. I see so many people here. Hi, Bonnie, watching live with me. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here. If you are watching live, post in the comments. Love this, thank you, JR. <laughs> post in the comments, um, and hey, if you don't like the video, let me know that too, because guess what? These videos are for you. So if you're not liking what I'm doing, let me know what you wanna see. If you have an idea for a video or something you wanna know about, post that in the comments too. Even if you're watching this um, on a recording and not live, I'll still get notifications that you post in the comments. So let's see, Jim Lynn Tom. Thank you so much, Jim, for being here. I appreciate that and posting um, that you're enjoying the content. I really love that, appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, and don't forget, before I go, grab a copy if you don't already have it. Seven Miracle Steps to Getting Your Dog to Obey Commands, even if they failed before. Guys, this is the foundation of everything I teach my in-home clients. No matter what stage of dog training you're in, you're gonna wanna read this book. So go ahead and grab your copy. I put a link in the description. If you don't mind, please, because sometimes it's hard for people to find it, post in the comments. Post this link, bit.ly slash canine secrets. Just like that. If you could post that in the comments, I would really appreciate it because you're helping other people find it um, because sometimes they have a hard time finding it. So I really appreciate that, guys. And let's see, is there anything else? I think we're gonna go ahead and end this video because I really super need a glass of water. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here with me live. I really appreciate it. I see quite a few of you are here with me live. Thank you so much. If you need to know something about training your dog, if it's about training, if it's about enrichment, heck, if it's about nutrition, 
guess what? We love talking about it. Post in the comments what you need to know, what your question is. Maybe I'll just do a video on it for you. So with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you so much for being with me today, and I will see you guys in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.